for the 50s, we're looking at the rowing exercise. It works so many major muscle groups, all the muscles, the legs, the lower back, the upper back, the arms. It's a great exercise and there's no weight bearing. But you have to do it just right. And you have to start with your legs, then your back, and then your arms. See the sequence that Reed is using. Legs, back, arms. Legs, back, arms. Legs, back, arms. Of course, when you pull forward, that's a good part of the exercise as well. But the hard part is going back and you will love that movement. It feels just great. How this starts, you start with push on the low ball, and then you push with your legs, first knee extension, then hip extension, then back extension, and then you pull it in. Right. Right. But you don't use your arms until the very end. Right at the very end. Okay? So it's with legs, back, arms. Your legs, now your back, then your arms. That's it. Then come forward. Good. Legs, back, arms. Legs, back, arms. Legs, back, arms. Good. Now there's that ghost move. Legs, back, arms. Move. Back. Good. Come forward. That's the neatest exercise. For our 50s strength exercise, we're going to work the midsection and hip flexor muscles. So Rita is going to do a basic trunk curl, but as she comes up getting support through her low back, and working her upper body, she's also going to bring one leg back and touch it to the elbow on the same side. So she gets not only the upper body resistance, but some leg resistance. She not only works her midsection muscles, the abdominals, but she also works the hip flexor muscles. These are the exact opposite muscles she's going to work in her rowing exercise, so it's a perfect combination. Once she has mastered this exercise, we can make it even more challenging by curling up and bringing the one leg to the opposite elbow and then the other leg to the opposite elbow and notice she's not letting the leg touch the floor in between. That's what makes it really challenging and it brings in some additional muscles, what we call the oblique muscles, on the sides. Wonderful job here. Do you feel that in the midsection? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> this is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger and Gatehouse Media New England. For more coverage, See today's edition of the Patriot Ledger or go to PatriotLedger.com. Clean out of the water, clean finish. Clean there.